Hello again. Um, this is part three of the five-part rehab series. Um, the ones you missed before this would be the protein would be number one, and the green tea would be number two. This is number three, and this is the raw whole tea plus energy. Um, now first off, I just want to show this can. I sh probably should have got a better condition can, but this was when I had just started collecting. So, you know that little dent there that's kind of bugging me. I could probably. Mm, yes. Let's see. Yeah, it looks a little better, whatever. Uh. So yeah, this is a. Uh, I like this. I like that personally. I really like the background of the uh, logo. I think. I think this is a pretty sick can. Uh. For some weird ass reason, it reminds me of like Star Wars. I I can't put my finger on it why it does, but it just does, and I'm. As you can see, pretty decent Star Wars fan. So, I'm going to jump into this. Uh, Rojo T plus Energy. I didn't know what to think of it when I first tried it. I took a couple more sips and I was like, hmm, not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Basically, what it tastes like is jello water, uh, cherry jello water. If you, if you don't know what jello water is, it's basically what happens before gelatin becomes gelatin, if you will. It's like the ingredients before you uh, boil it, or I don't even know how you make jello, I, f I forget. Uh, let, me, let me think about this for a second. I think you boil it, yeah. I don't, I don't think freezing, no, because that would make it ice. Yeah, so you boil it. So it's basically the water before it like dries or whatever it does in the jello. I'm sorry, I, I haven't made jello in years, so that's confusing. But it's basically whatever would form into the gelatin, so the liquid that would form into the gelatin. You like mix it up and it's kind of warm because it, yeah. So basically, it tastes like straight up jello water right off the bat. Now, the longer you let it sit, so the warmer it gets, the more and more it starts to taste like jello water, which isn't a bad thing because I genuinely do like jello water for the most part. Um, I was kind of surprised that it tasted like jello water though. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, I don't dislike this flavor, but I, I, I haven't bought another one since then, just because it's like, I just have jello water if I want it that bad, I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't really know how to say it any better than that, it's just, it is what it is, it, it's obviously cherry-ish flavored, it's mild after that, but it, it does have that tea taste to it as well, so you can definitely pick up on the differences between that and the jello water if you've had both, um, yeah, the tea kind of makes it a little more disgusting in a way. That's kind of what turned me off to it, in the sense that I don't think I'm ever gonna buy this again, or probably not. Um, it, I did have dry mouth when I had this. I remember that, like I was pretty thirsty, and that's kind of why I bought it, and it did clear that right up. So I was happy with that. Um, it kind of goes down a little chunky, I'd say. Like it doesn't go down smooth, but it doesn't. It's not hard either. I don't. I don't know how to describe that really well. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not good at discussing how to swallow things. That's not my area of expertise. Uh, but yeah. So a pretty cool can, decent flavor, Jello water, cherryish, plus the tea, non-carbonated. I explain what that is in my uh. What I just do the green tea video. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will have the next two coming up soon. Pretty cool can, I'd say. Alright, take it easy, guys.